Hello everybody, this is Kalor SC, and I am bringing you KTF versus SKT1 in uh, a rival match uh, played earlier today, and this is going to be set 2 of the rival match. I haven't cast a set 1, I don't plan to, uh, because of time limitations, but um, this is Flash versus Rumble. I'm choosing this, of course, because of Flash, who uh, looks like he's tattooed the word show on his cheek there on the left. Um, the rival match is basically... Uh, usually pits two teams who have a reason to be rivals against each other. OGN and, uh, and NBC, of course, the two major channels have fought each other on Rival Match. Um, I'm not sure if it was called Rival Match, but in uh, any case, uh, SKT1 and KTF are both telecommunications uh, companies in Korea. They're both wireless, um, wireless companies, actually, so uh, I guess this is a reason for them to be rivals, certainly, and uh, they are also rivals because they are great, great players on both of them teams. Uh, there's really strong, strong lineups on both sides, and uh, definitely two of the best out there. Um, Flash, though, I have to say, the last time he met up Rumb with Rumble in the uh, World Cyber Games qualifiers, uh, he really put a Rumble in, in his Bronx basically. Flash uh, pretty much dominated Rumble throughout those games. Uh, played a very perfect Terran versus Zerg game. Um, actually, he's been moving away from SK Terran recently. He's been going for a lot of different sort of builds. There he went for, uh, in those games actually, he went for a pretty standard uh, Medic Marine with tank build plus science vessels. And I like actually that regression to that uh, because uh, a lot of these Zerg players are actually going uh, lurker heavy. Of course, because you've seen my videos. Uh, they're going very lurker heavy. Um, and that seems to, be, seems to be a little bit of a trend with the Zerg. So going for those early tanks is a must if you want to have any sort of offensive ability uh, against the Zerg if he goes lurkers first. And that is a hint for you guys uh, who, who have um, been facing the Cholera build. Uh, and uh, for those of you who haven't heard of the Cholera build, it is basically um, two hatcheries uh, into fast lurkers. And here we see Flash actually moving an SCV out. Uh, we'll see if he decides to put a Supply Depot or go for some kind of uh, rush here. And actually Flash is putting down a barracks at the uh, front door of Andromeda here. Um, and, and this is something he actually does, it seems, every time he plays Terran versus Zerg on Andromeda. He did this the last time, I believe, against Luxury in the round of eight of the OSL last season. And it actually did not turn out successfully for him in that game because uh, Luxury anticipated that move and went for a 12 pool, which is certainly a rare build against Terran nowadays. Um, but yeah, Flash is going to be going for that rush here, and there is uh, NC Yellow on the right there commentating. I believe Reach is actually going to be commentating also at some point. But yeah, Flash really uh, rumbled, rumbled up uh, pretty, <laughs> pretty badly before. So um, I, I think Flash is certainly uh, taking some leeway to, to you know, go for a rush, uh, play a little different. Um, certainly, he's been uh, completely unafraid of going for new and, and very crazy kind of builds uh, like last time against Jadong of course in the um, in their uh, their Pro League All-Stars game where Flash went uh, 14 command center on Katrina into four starport rates that's right four starport rates people have been correcting me because they said three no Flash uh, goes four port rates against a Zerg player that is just insane um, and here Flash is with his first Marine coming out uh, critically for him though I, I actually think that um Rumble may have suspected some kind of rush coming in because he's put his tw he went for a 12 hatchery, but that hatchery is being built on the expansion uh, above the ramp, and that certainly is very viable for Zerg on this map. You do have the ability to double expand, and maybe he wants to be uh, wants to play it safe a little bit, not taking the one with the gas first, and uh, maybe he wants to figure out what Flash is up to. Um, but he hasn't sent out a drone scout or anything like that, so he really won't be able to know anytime soon. Flash has also started up a gas, interesting enough. So Flash is actually going to go for a factory build also. Really interesting build here. Flash has almost uh, very few SCVs. I'm going to say almost no SCVs, but he's building a factory in the middle of the map. Proxy factory. Uh, eight racks into proxy factory. Interesting enough, he didn't rush with those Marines, though. That's actually kind of surprising. Um, I think it's partially because it's taken him so long to scout this location, unfortunately. And uh, I think by now, Rumble is going to be okay, at least in terms of... Um, at least in terms of defending against his marine rush because the Zerglings are already coming out. Flash is actually moving forward anyway, and that factory is almost done, and once again, Flash is coming up with a completely crazy and a new build here, the 8 racks into proxy factory in the center of the map. Now, I don't think he's going to have the gas for anything uh, like tanks or, or obviously not like Goliaths. I think he's just going to be building vultures here. Um, I don't think, obviously, he hasn't. Uh, his economy is not good enough for a wraith rush, I don't think. Uh, so this is an incredible... Um, really, I've never seen this before, this strategy, uh, and Flash is, is going be going for those vultures as as I expected. Uh, this is almost an all-in strategy, though certainly because Flash's economy is just so weak right now. 
he's been mining gas, he's been, uh, he went for an 8 rack, so his mineral production is going to be way down, and hence his SCV counts going to be way down. Here comes the first Vulture, though. Flash is going to try to hide it, I think. Um, I think his opponent has no idea what, what exactly the, the opening build was. Uh, he's still trying to just micro his Zergling so he can get a surround around these Marines, but so far unsuccessful. But if uh, Flash can get a couple of Vultures into the main base, that'll be absolutely devastating for Rumble. It might be just GG at that moment. Flash, um, with nice work here, pinning those Zerglings back. Here comes the Zerglings, so though. They actually get among the Marines. Actually, they're picking off all the Marines there, so nice work by Rumble. But meanwhile, Flash has slipped two Vultures into Rumble's, uh, towards Rumble's base. Rumble still does not have a uh, sunken colony up, which is what he needs to deal against Vultures. But unfortunately for Flash, he's actually uh, has Zerglings streaming towards his base. So um, Flash's build, of course, is very weak because he doesn't have a wall in even. Uh, he went for the four and eight racks, and he didn't even uh, build a second barracks, which would have been able to close off his, uh, his front door. In fact, he hasn't closed off his front door, but he's picking off drones left and right. So this is going to become uh, who can kill whom first here in this battle. And this is definitely a strange build here from Flash. I think he might not be necessarily taking the game that seriously and hence going for this strange build. Sunken colonies going up and like I said, sunken colonies are what you need against uh, vultures. Flash's vulture goes down inside of his main though. He's trying to defend it with that one vulture. Flash could be in big trouble here. Uh, he's down to just four SCVs and uh, <laughs> Flash is gritting a little bit. Got a little smirk on his face. I think he knows the... Uh, uh, the Gambit is up, though. I, I think he's going to actually lose this game, unfortunately. Flash going for the insane build here. Eight racks into Proxy Factory. And wow, uh, unfortunately, though, um, SKT1 is probably going to take a 2-0 lead here. I didn't watch game one, like I said. I probably won't be able to commentate most of the games. But uh, Flash actually, uh, if he loses this Vulture, it's going to be his last defense. And oh, man, those Speedlings are getting all amongst Flash's Vultures. Without the speed upgrade, those Vultures are toast. And uh, it, it's just a matter of time before... Um, before Rumble uh, finishes them off pretty much with just Zerglings or uh, gets any kind of tech and finishes them off. So Flash going for a, a very audacious build. Um, certainly, uh, yeah, and GG coming from Flash. Certainly I'm not going to blame him that much for this defeat because uh, he probably didn't take Rumble very seriously. And uh, this is not necessarily a very serious matchup for him. So uh, he feels like he can goof off, goof off and go for this crazy build. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. Maybe we'll see more Flash later on this series uh, if this game, if the series goes to an ace match and... Um, if you guys don't want any spoilers, don't go into my next couple of videos uh, because I might skip around a little bit. Um, there's I Love Uvi, by the way. Uh, so Rumble picking up a quick victory, although um, uh, certainly I, I don't think it was necessarily his uh, his brilliant play that won him that game. Look at him. He's so happy because he beat Flash. Uh, I would be too because it, it's pretty darn hard to beat Flash uh, in any time. But uh, I Love Uvi is like, yeah, I, that's a crazy build. Uh, I wish I thought about that once. Uh, but <laughs> Um, but anyway, I don't think Rumble really won that game. I think Flash's build uh, is just uh, just a little bit impossible to pull off. Um, maybe if uh, Rumble had expanded uh, below the ramp first, it might have had a chance. But um, that was also because he delayed his scout and, and didn't get those Marines into the base early enough to make his 8 racks worth it. So it was definitely a very crazy build, but didn't work out for him. And uh, we'll see how the rest of uh, the games go. Um, well, I guess you won't see, actually unless you go to John 747, because I'm not going to cast most of them. But I will be going towards uh, the, the last game, actually, in the series. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.